Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Today we're going to have a look at all the different speed test apps that you can get on your Fire TV stick. This is to test the speed of your internet connection. So let's have a look at this one first, this internet speed test app. Let's go into it and uh, it's just loading up. So as you can see, here we go, it's a pretty basic sort of speed test app. Let's press the middle button on the remote to start the test. Now normally I would get around about 19 and a half megabits on my connection download speed and about four and a half on the uh, upload there. Well, as you can see already, it's showing that I'm getting 43.4, so it's not exactly accurate, this speed test. But it tells me my ping is 19 milliseconds, tells me my jitter is 4.3 milliseconds. The lower that figure, normally the better. My upload speed, again, it's saying is 9, but, like I say, it can't be 9, because I never get anywhere near that kind of speed. But here it gives you a little guide here so it tells you that uh, I can stream SD films HD 4K but I can't stream 8K stuff because my internet connection isn't simply fast enough. If I go down there to my result that gives you all the different results of speed tests that I've done in the past, the date and times as well and you can go across to my average and it gives you a bit of an average of uh, your speed tests there so uh, that's pretty good and that there is I've, I've done a speed test without my VPN switched on there and this one is with my VPN switched on so that's why we've got two different speed tests there because it's connected to two different networks whilst I was running the speed tests at different times so the next one we're going to take a look at is speed test Wi-Fi analyzer by Analyti so let's just go into that and there we go, as soon as we go into that, it starts running a speed test for us. And this is looking a bit more accurate. So here, it tells us that my Wi-Fi strength is good enough for all of the different streaming types. My Wi-Fi quality is good enough for all of the different streaming types. But my internet speed is only good for 1080p and 1440 QHD. I can't stream over the internet 4K stuff or 8K stuff according to this. The app also has other tests so it has a more detailed speed test there that I can run. So uh, it says Android requires that we ask location permission in order to get access to detailed Wi-Fi information. So okay I'll give my permission and let's just allow that there and that gives us more details about the Wi-Fi that I'm connected to, the router I'm connected to, the IP address, DNS servers that I'm connected to and the VPN that I'm currently connected to along with the public IP addresses and it also gives us like I say once again a, another detailed speed test. Going down further we've got ping and DNS speeds. So that again tests the ping speeds. Unfortunately, there is an advert on the free version which seems to obscure some of the uh, the information there on the screen. Screen occasionally the ad disappears as it changes, but um, it seems to make it very difficult to see. There you go. That might be a little bit better. I've just pushed the right button on the uh, remote control or the right part of the ring on the remote control and that's uh, given us some more detail. So that's pinging the DNS servers, that's the domain name servers, the thing that uh, basically turns web addresses into IP addresses so that it can connect to their servers. Next thing down on the list is VPN check, so let's just go into that. So that basically tells us this connection is using VPN software on this device and uh, just gives us a little bit more information about it and uh, along with the Wi-Fi details once again. If I go down to web check, that there tries to connect to a couple of popular services like Google and YouTube and it gives us some information about the length of time it took to get to those servers there. So it's Google, YouTube, Google UK and Amazon there. Obviously these speeds here in milliseconds, the lower they are, the faster the connection will be. Next up is Wi-Fi networks. 
So there we go, this gives us a list of Wi-Fi networks that I can connect to in the local area. Next up, if I go down to Wi-Fi channels, <clears throat> this gives us a graph which basically shows us the uh, amount of data and uh, this basically gives us a graph on the amount of Wi-Fi networks in my local area that are connecting to certain channels there. So uh, hopefully if we're having any, any Wi-Fi problems, we could select a channel perhaps that's got less Wi-Fi networks on it to help us decide what would be the most free sort of Wi-Fi network we've got available. At the moment I'm using a 4K Max, so therefore I do have the luxury of being able to use a 6 GHz network, although I haven't got a 6 GHz router, so uh, I can't benefit from that at the moment. But if I did have one, as you can see there in my local area, no one else has got one, so uh, the channels are pretty clear on that. Next thing we can go down to is network devices. And this just basically gives us a list of all the other devices that are on the Wi-Fi network that I'm connected to. It might take some time for this list to build up. And then the next couple of options here are paid for features, which I just don't have. And then we've got settings there where we can just change a few of the settings like the, the theme, the launch activity, and we can check out what features that uh, we can buy. We can also change the internet speed test settings and the ping settings, also the automatic speed settings and the paid for features. Just we can just more or less change anything on here that we want to. So speed test Wi-Fi analyzer by Analyti does seem to have quite a few extras inside it. Next one along is internet speed test. Let's go into this one. Now this one is probably the best looking speed test I've seen in a long while. So as you can see, looks a bit like a snazzy speedo in a car. So just press the middle button. Oh, wow, look at that. And there we go. So it gives us the download speed there, gives us the ping, and uh, in a moment, hopefully, it will do the upload speed as well. The speed it's given me is well below what I would expect it to come out as. And the upload speed has registered nothing at all. So the next one along is test net speed, just here, let's go into that. And this has got various sort of speed tests on it. So we've got the download uh, speed standard, so let's give that one a try. And that gives us, like I say, a nice looking graph there and uh, gives us what I would roughly expect has been my uh, internet speed. So that one seems quite accurate, to be quite honest with you. And there we go. So that's given me 20.07 megabits per second. And it says I can watch videos up to 1440p, that's 2K. If I go back, we've got their ping test as well. So we can check the ping again. The lower this number, the better. And we've got the alternate download speed there. So just in case the stand one isn't working or we want to double check it, we can use the alternate and that gives us, that connects to another server and uh, gives us another download speed test. There you go, 19. There's a slight difference between that and the standard there. We've got smart test here, which basically smart test will allow us to start a test and sort of leave it running in the background whilst we're using apps on there to really see if um, any apps are throttling our connection or our, our internet provider might be throttling our connection to certain apps, should I say. So a good sort of thing to, uh, to leave running in the background temporarily if you just wanna see whether or not your internet provider is throttling your connection when using certain apps compared to others. Then we've got the Wi-Fi stroke LAN scanner and uh, here we go, let's just uh, scan the network. And this gives us a list of IP addresses and MAC addresses for all devices that it finds on our local network. And then we've got quick launch short shortcuts which just give us the quick launch shortcuts to other apps made by this developer. And finally, we've got this speed test just here. So let's give this one a try. And uh, again, this one looks 
quite basic so just press the middle button on the remote control to start this going so it's doing a, a latency test first of all again the lower the latency the better and it's now preparing the download speed and there we go so it's now running the download speed and once it's done that it will then run an upload speed as it's running the upload speed there there you go it gives us an indicator at the top of what we can use our internet connection for so we're okay to stream music we're okay for standard definition video to stream hd video to stream ultra hd absolutely no good for ultra hd and gaming is debatable that's uh, an amber color so there you go that video gave you a bit of a run through on all the individual speed test apps that are available for the fire tv stick Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then share it on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.